All right, guys, we're here playing uh, Heroes of Might Magic Quest for the Dragon Bone Staff. This game, I have it right here. I'm actually a hard copy of it because, well, that's the way I have to do it. Anyway, released in 2001, this was a port from the PC. Or the first or the only one for PS2 that um, brought the Heroes of Might and Magic series to the console. It's kind of a watered down version of what you'd play on the PC in that era, but it uh, certainly brings a good mix of strategy, RPG, and combat elements to the to the platform. So we're going to play it today just for something different, and uh, we'll see what you think. I don't know if you've played this before, but it's not too bad. So here we go. I think what we're going to do is we'll just pick the knight. There's four different character classes um, depending on their skills. So like, for example, Barbarian here. Leadership is how many troops they can command. Commission is the amount of gold you get per week from the queen. How much gold you start with and whether or not you have magic. So depending on who you want to start with here. There's different classes and different skills. Um, so for example, the sorceress here has less leadership, so she can command less troops, but gets more gold and has magic. So it, it kind of depends on your play style. I think what we'll do is we'll try the barbarian. He's uh, basically combat oriented and we're just going to use random name because easier that way so we'll be Krellian and we're just gonna play normal so it's game this game is 600 days we'll watch the that scene here right now you you want to know about dragons you fancy yourself a dragon slayer you what do you suppose a dragon to be a dog at your feet a mere beast? Even the lowliest of dragon commands the highest respect from mortal men and you. You plan the demise of the great dragon Malazek. I too was once blinded by this ambition. Sent great men to their deaths. No hope for glory. Do you think that because Argus is your king that your revenge is honorable? You'll need more than a quick sword and a vengeful heart. You'll need that thing forged from the very essence of the greatest of all dragons. The great Sunworm Mother, who willed her own great heart to stop beating, had her bones cast at the feet of the great elven wizard Yartooth whose magic bound her bones to the wood of the ancient first tree. Birthing to the universe, that most terrible instrument of life and death, you'll need the Dragonbone Staff. Sounds ominous. The king lies in his deathbed, solely succumbing to the poison from an assassin's blade. The queen can hold the kingdom together, but she has asked you to recover the Dragonbone Staff that was stolen from the royal tombs. Find the Dragonbone Staff and defeat Malazak before the poison takes the king's life in 600 days. Good luck. So this is the only quest in the game, and it doesn't matter what character you pick, that's basically what you get to do. So the one thing that's different in this game too is you don't have the same kind of base building you have in the PC version of the game. You're basically just recruiting character or troops and you can recruit them deep based on your level. So we're going to recruit archers because archers are always good. And we're going to recruit pikemen here, I think. Okay, we'll go out of here. So we're going to go exploring. Okay, we're not gonna bother peasants right now. Because we need some money 
for uh, buying siege weapons so that we can take over castles in this game because you don't start with any. And so the combat's similar to what you'd see in the era for Heroes Might Magic. It's a little bit watered down um, just because it had to work on a console. It's easier to do it this way. So what we're going to do is take out these wolves if we can or try to. Um, since they'll be the fastest ones of the bunch here. So there we go, we got our first battle. You just get gold in this game, you don't get experience for battles, which is a little bit different than the PC version. Usually you get experience to gain better skills and such, but that's not really an option here in this game. Basically the gist of it is you explore the overland, getting treasures and finding artifacts and that kind of stuff and then and then you uh, combat with monsters like this We're going to take out these orcs because they are shooters. Usually the best kind of thing you can do is either stand beside the archers or take them out early because they'll just pick away at your army and we don't want that. There you go, another battle. So the one thing you'll find on the main map here, or overworld, is treasure chests. So you can either take gold, or you can increase your leadership skill. So leadership is your ability to command troops, so the higher the number, the more troops you can have. Um, typically in a Heroes Might Magic game, you'd usually have the option of either taking gold or taking more experience. So what we're going to do is go for the leadership just because we want to be able to eventually have more troops and I guess more powerful troops in our army. So that's what we're going to do here. As much as we would like the money, um, we don't need it right now. So we're going to keep looking around here. Hmm, let's try right here. Some kind of tower back there that we'll get access to after taking out the stack of creatures.
That's interesting too for the day. The graphics were very good. And there wasn't really any of these kind of games for the PS2. Many seek the knowledge of the Archmage Celestra, but few can stare in his cold, knowing gaze. This he will teach you spell casting, but it's not for free. It will cost you 5,000 gold. I don't think we can afford that right now, so. I'll remember about that for later, so. Keep exploring here. The stack here, it looks like we're going to meet some creatures we haven't seen yet. And again, we're going to focus on the archers here, or the orcs, just because we don't want to have to have our army depleted because of their endless reign of arrows. So by moving right beside them there, we stopped the orcs from being able to attack. Put out a wolves here. Let's end of them. You have won the battle. All right, so another 575 gold. Not good. Our army's getting smaller. We're gonna have to eventually re replace our troops here. We're gonna continue to take leadership instead of gold. We're just gonna go back the way we came here. King's treasure. Alright. So. Let's try to go this way here. So each continent has two artifacts of power, and artifacts give us other skills or increased abilities. So basically the gist of the game is to explore, build your army, and uh, conquer the world. Like it's quite a big map that we have to work with, which is good. Another 525 gold. Keep exploring here. 
Okay, so the first week is over. So what happens at the end of the week is population dwellings replenish so you can recruit more people. They also figure out how much money you have, like you have to pay to maintain your army, which in our case our army is just about decimated, so it didn't cost too much, so we're up actually. So we we start with the 575, or sorry, 4875 is what we had, and we get $2,000 a week from the queen, plus the cost of our army there, so it left us with 6,300 gold, which is good. So, we're gonna keep going here. Offering 130 peasants. Okay, so we're gonna rent a boat here. And buy siege weapons, which we didn't have before. Look at the contracts, we will accept this. There's a 5,000 gold reward if we catch this guy. So we will do that and we're going to rent a boat here and we'll get out of here. So using a boat is just about the only way you can get across water. So there are other things around here that Ready, you might want to see. I'm just going to take a quick little ex or explore briefly here. Take the gold, then we'll get back in this boat. We can. Okay, that's our army. We don't want to look at that. There's a button here for map. There we go. So we're just going to explore the map here and see what else we can find. Which I mean, we might as well go in the boat. There's no. I don't think there's any creatures in the water, so. Which that might not be true, but we'll see. It's going to waste some of our time, but I think it's probably well worth it just to kind of get a fillet of the land. And we're looking for any kind of gold that's kicking around, or maybe if there's an artifact just hanging out on the side of the shore here would be useful. Let's just check this out here for a sec. It's already been another week. That's unfortunate. So it gives us an extra thousand gold, but we don't have much in the way of. Oh, that's worth it. Oh, there's a castle right there. We'll increase our leadership again. There's another one, same thing. That's our leadership. And is this the best use of your time? Probably not. Better off actually gaining some ground in the game, but I just want to quickly go around here and just get a lay of the land and just see where we are at. See what this treehouse thing is. Recruit trolls. Recruit two of them. I can't get out of the boat there for whatever reason. Unfortunate. Take that too. And take that. Let's take a peek at the map here, see how far gone. Alright, week three. So we got a little bit more money on hand. Which is good because we can use it. Oh, 
Let's see what this thing is. Castle Courage Point, I'm gonna say we'll skip it at the moment because we really don't have much for troops. We'll take that. We'll take the boat again. Where are we here on the map? Alright. There's another castle. Actually, we will try and take this one because it's right by our home. So this will be an example of what it is to lay siege to a castle. Basically, what you're doing is trying to conquer the troops that are there. Quite often, these battles are a little more challenging. So notice there's more stacks of troops on the other side there. And like always, going to work on the archers first. Sprites are pretty weak. We're just gonna skip their turn there for a moment. There, so we took over a castle. What you can do is leave troops in the castle and the garrison, but we're not going to do that here because we need whatever we can get. So that's one castle for us. So what I'm going to do is I'll leave you there. So this has been Heroes of Might and Magic Quest for the Dragon Bane Staff. I'm available on PS2, which came out back in 2001, so it's a little older game. And it's a combination of, well, fantasy-based game with exploration, combat, and uh, also strategy, right? you got to manage your resources and your troops. So if you have any comments or questions, like if you've ever played this game, leave it in the comment section below. And otherwise, thank you for watching. We'll catch you in the next video.